What's up guys, it's Eric Thor here to talk to you today about why people love INFPs. The truth is, INFPs have this mysterious aura to them that often makes them really attractive to other people. It's that aura of modesty in combination with uh, having a strong identity and a strong personal value system. That means that many people will see you as a person that has strong character and integrity, yet does not boast about it. And that's something really, really attractive to a lot of people. Why is it attractive? Well, because INFPs are one of the least intimidating people to hang out with. They're cool and they have this own way of living and being, but at the same time, they are completely fine and open and they are completely accepting of other people. So INFPs create an accepting and comfortable space for other people to be in. INFPs are people that in many ways when they are at their best are able to get people to relax and INFPs practice deep listening and sensitivity. And so as an INFP you'll find that INFPs they are gentle and they are easygoing people. They're unlikely to yell or to uh, make get upset unless pushed into a corner. And they are tend to be very accommodating and very aware of and perceptive of your needs, no matter what your personality type is. INFPs are also people that tend to grow with the group. And so INFPs are rarely people that will take credit for anything. INFPs tend to bubble around under the surface. And even if they are doing a hell of a job, they're never going to make or give you slack for things. They're never going to get down on you for not doing as well or not being as good or not being as successful. Uh, so that means a lot of the time INFPs are very non-threatening people. INFPs are great for combating jealousy because INFPs tend to struggle with jealousy and envy themselves. INFPs are people that can often look to, up to and deeply admire other people. And so when you're with an INFP, a lot of time you'll find that INFPs really look up to you and really see the best in you and really see your ideal, who you are at your best. INFPs celebrate your wins and they recognize your strengths and capabilities. They see you very deeply and to be seen so deeply by another person can feel very, very reassuring. So when you spend time with an INFP, you'll notice that INFPs, they have this ability to know you instinctively. They just know what you're thinking about and they know what you're feeling and they know what you're going through. They have a capacity to put themselves in other people's shoes and this often gets them known to be empaths. They are empaths in the sense that they will often place themselves in your situation and they'll try to think about how they would act if they were you and if they had your experiences. And they observe you and they study your behavior and your actions, what you do, who, where you come from, your history, and also they study your goals, your values, and your deeper intentions. So to feel seen at that level is something that is very unique. Not many people will create a space where you are seen and understood. And for many people, that is a very intimate space. And so it's very easy to get intimate with an INFP and to have intimate and deep conversations with an INFP. Now, there are a few things that can be difficult when you're with an INFP. For example, the INFP tends to find it hard to open up to other people. While the INFP creates a space that is very reassuring, it's often the case that INFPs often don't feel that they can express themselves easily around other people. The INFP can be shy to express and share what's on their mind. And INFPs don't always feel welcome. So, despite the fact that they are welcome, and despite the fact that they are very liked, they don't always feel that way. And often you need to be very reassuring when you're with an INFP. So don't be afraid to tell an INFP if you like them and if you want them to be there. Don't just tell them, hey, you can come if you like. Say, I'd like you to come if you want. So in this way, you can show them that you care about them and you're interested in them and you like them and you'd like to spend time with them. And so recognize that INFPs are rarely going to be boastful, ambitious, or assertive. They're not going to assume that they're the best, even if they are. And they're never going to pretend to be something they're not. They're going to be just what you see, and they're going to be so in a very unforgiving and also in a very undemanding manner. So are you dating an INFP? And what are your thoughts about the INFP? Do you have an INFP friend that you like? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and see you all in the next video.